Right, this is a proper random video. So um, I've just had an email from one of my followers to say that he's just won a car in a competition. But he has no intentions of keeping the car and he wants to sell it. And the first car trader that sprung to mind was me when he thought about selling it. So um, I said, yeah, I'm up for buying that. But the catch with this car is it's in the Edinburgh, which um, is very far from my house. And I've concluded the best way to get to Edinburgh from my house is get a plane. See you later, mate. See you tomorrow. Leon. Right, see you later. See you later. London Bridge, Gatwick Airport. I just woke up, as you can probably see. Yeah, I feel I feel groggy, man. Uh, but I slept all right, to be fair. It is seven o'clock in the morning. Jack, the guy that owns the car, or owns, currently owns the car, is gonna be arriving in the car park shortly. So um, I'm pretty sure at this stage of the video, you lot, you lot don't know what car it is, right? It's a car that I know you're all gonna love. Um, strangely, it doesn't have a BMW badge. A lot of you might be quite happy about that. Uh, but. We'll cut to the scene of the video when Jack arrives in the car park with the car. And trust me, this is a car that I'm massively excited about. I know lots of you lot can be excited about. It's tuned to a good level. It's in the perfect color choice in my opinion. And the body shape choice is something that I would personally would have gone for as well. It might be staying as my own car. I still don't know yet. Um, but let's cut to the scene when he's arriving in the car park and you're gonna see this wonderful machine, all right? So three second countdown. And you'll be have you'll be faced with a car in front of you. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's real man, even for me this is a shock, I've got a bloody plane up here. <laughs> hey, honestly, on the way down, yeah. we were the same. Really? The plane down, like, I don't even know if this competition was real. Uh, mate, this is a surreal experience for you, isn't it? Ah, yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> Car's nice anyway, because obviously the whole time I've been sitting here I've been thinking, this car better be bloody know, nice, mate, man. So, it's a... Uh, I got it valid last night for you as well. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, mate, that's what I was like. See, when I won the place, I won it from, I was like, I could not believe I've won this. Right. Like, <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> oh, Stacey, sorry. Stacey. Your accent, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm not, mate, even I know. on the phone, I'm like struggling to understand what, you work, what you're saying. <laughs> um, so, the story. So, this, you've had this car, what, two weeks, yeah? 
not even that. Not even that. I up on Saturday. So, so the story is, you got a phone call when you was at the barber shop a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? Aye, pretty much. Uh, just sitting there, getting my hair cut. Yeah. Um, got the got the phone call. Totally forgot I'd entered into the competition. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I went with one of my mates. He was sitting. He was sitting there, and everyone just no one could believe it. So you, and you so you bought uh, entries to a competition. Yep. Who, who was it? Seven days. Seven days performance. Yeah. And three three tickets I bought. Two ninety nine a ticket. Nine quid. Nine quid. <laughs> <laughs> and you got an hour is free. And then obviously you then reached out to me because yeah. you, you wanted to sell it, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And so I you, follow your channel, and I thought. I'll see, see if Calvin wants to buy it. He, like, he likes crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of car, man. Yeah. So it's got a whole list of mods as well, isn't it? Like, it's yeah, a stage two car. Stage done. two, MRC. Um, it's only done 9,500 miles. Forged intercooler, forged induction, downpipe, uh, bill sting coil, adjustable coilovers. It's um, a beast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I bet you've had some fun in it as well, oh, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I got pulled over on the way up. Oh, t- today? Uh, no, no, no. I'm oh, on the way. Bringing it home. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I got, uh, I pretty much got all the way through London, came into Scotland, pulled over about an hour away from here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah. yeah, you picked it up from London, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's a cool car, man. So what's your yeah. plan? So you're going to get the money. Uh, you got the A1 there, yeah? Yeah, mate, yeah that's so you, the A1. So you yeah. guys share this car then? Yeah, yeah, I've got a work van as well. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you do for work? Yeah, tree surgeon. Oh, of course you are. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to call you. You're up a tree. tree. <laughs> I hate heights, man. I hate heights. Uh, cool. So you're going to sort of daily drive that and in your van. And yeah. then with the money. You, well, you yeah. guys must have plans for the money, surely. Yeah. So we were to get married. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. That's been cancelled because yeah. of COVID. So yeah, yeah, nice very, honeymoon. very nice honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. and then invest it in a house as well. We've already got a house, but we can uh, invest it in something a bit bigger. Yeah, well, it's just a, for a future, mate. It's, it's a good sum of money, isn't yeah, it? Well, that's yeah. a serious amount of money. I know, I know. Fair play. So, on that note, we better send you some money, ain't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> Audi RS3 at long last and uh, there, there was a time in my life when I bought my Audi RS6 that I actually wanted to buy one of these cars. I wanted a four door saloon or a four or five door car. Um, they serve a great purpose. They're, obviously you can get the hatchbacks which I do really like the hatchbacks but my preference would have been a saloon and Nardo Grey would have been the colour I would have gone for and tuning it would have been a no-brainer. So when I got offered this car, when I saw the email, and I, I'm ter- I'm not terrible with my emails, I'm human, and I get a lot of emails, and it's really difficult to keep up with all of them, and uh, I just saw this, this um, the subject of Jack's email was, I've won an Audi RS3, and I thought, oh, that's a random email, so I clicked into it, and he's like, yeah, ended the competition, won this car, uh, for £2.99 a ticket, free tickets, nine quid, and, um, yeah, he won the car. He's in Edinburgh. I was like, mate, that is a nice car. I've, I've got to buy it. So we are in the process of setting up the car buying shop throughout the country. Obviously, the car buying shop is my brand. We're very similar th- as a comparable, I suppose, to We Buy Any Car, but we're more of a local business. And uh, through my channel and stuff, I get offered cars all over the country. So what we're planning on doing is branching out across the country. So you. Jack, for example, would have been able to go to his local car buying shop um, to sell the car rather than me having to get a plane up to Edinburgh. But that's all unfolded. If you are a car trader, you want to get on board with that, email us. Um, I'll put a link to our email in the comments below, in the description below, right? But um, let's go through the list of stuff this car's got. So two owners, one of them is Jack, annoyingly. So it's got one owner from you, then Jack's the second owner. He's been a, a key from the logbook for about a week or two, um, if that. Uh, two keys, nine and a half thousand miles. Uh, MRC stage two remap uh, with the S-Tronic upgrade. It's 540 BHP. Uh, Bill Stein B16 adjustable coilovers. New speed RE, uh, RSE 10 satin black wheels with PS4, Michelin PS4 tires all round. Uh, forged intercooler, forged intake, pan roof. Love that as an option. Doesn't have the big RS3 seats. That's a bit annoying, uh, but it's got a pan roof. You can't fit a pan roof to a car, but you can fit seats to them. So I think I'd rather it that way around personally. Um, 
ceramic coated uh, cruise control, virtual cockpit, rear view camera, banging Olsen system, uh, comfort and sound pack, privacy glass. Uh, that's it. Sick car, isn't it? Absolute sick car. So let's have a little listen. Where's the start button? Sounds crazy. Did I say it's got a four inch downpipe as well? I don't even know if that was on the list. Um, it's got some crazy looking down, but I don't know what brand it is, but it looks good. So yeah, sounds amazing. Do you know what, these cars almost sound like a, a, a V10 Audi R8. It sounds so good, man. Uh, so I am now gonna begin my seven hour journey. I know that's an exaggeration. I think it's about six and a half hours journey back home, right? This is a record for me uh, or, a, or a one-off occasion for me for two reasons. One, I've never been to Scotland before. And two, this is officially the longest drive I've ever done in my life, right? So, um, and thirdly, I suppose, the first time ever that I got an aeroplane to buy a car. So this is an interesting, interesting day for me. And also very exciting for um, Jack and his girlfriend, Stacy, who are due to get married. Uh, they've, there's a life-changing experience from them. They've entered in this competition and I had a little look at this seven days performance. This is not an ad for them, by the way. This is, they are completely unaware that this video is going live, but I looked at what they're doing. They look like they're doing a good job. And Jack there was a genuine winner of this car, one in 20,000 entries, and he was the name that got selected. And he won this car and it is a life-changing sum of money. These are a lot of money, these cars. And uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna change his future for sure. So let's stop banging on. Let's get on with the journey home, yeah? These cars, they just sound so good. So it's got a stock exhaust on it, but obviously the downpipe. Listen to it. <laughs> quick as well, man. <laughs> Roads are empty around here. I don't know if this is normal, but it just seems so quiet. Look at the hills in the background. There must be some quality driving roads around here. Uh, I didn't even test drive it when I bought it. Is that a bit of a schoolboy area? I, I hardly ever test drive cars when I buy them. I just I generally just buy on people. But uh, yeah, uh, first experience in a stage two Audi RS. First experience in an RS3. Serious car. Please drive straight ahead. gearbox, very similar. Is it similar to my Golf R? My mind is not on the sat nav. My mind is on the RS3, the 5.4 engine that's under the bonnet, 540 bhp, uh, and they have so much more tuning potential, which is why the dilemma of my own car gets bigger because I've got the M6, I had the F80 M3 come in, I pretty much, pretty much concluded that an F80 M3 is the perfect car for me. Oh, I've got the limit there. This is so good and it just sounds unbelievable. Like a lot of people criticize the sound of an F80 M3. No one on planet Earth whether you like cars or not, no one could criticize the sound of this car. It sounds amazing. Look at the roads, look at the hills in the background. I'm used to everything being flat or buildings in the way and stuff. This is beautiful, isn't it? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Edinburgh. I'm in Scotland, guys. <laughs> Wow, what an experience. So the thumbnail of me in front of a bloody aeroplane, I had to put that out there because, uh, you know, this is, I know this is probably quite a big video to view, but also this is a massive day for me, massive day for Jack and Stacey as well. And I'm so pleased to say I'm now, I've now finally got an RS3 in my life. I'm not sure if it's staying, I'm not sure if it's going. That'll come in a later video. For now, I'm just gonna concentrate on getting myself home, enjoying the journey home, chilling out and put some thought into what my plans are going to be for this car. I will do a follow up video with a proper drive of this car and a proper explanation of my thoughts once I've concluded what they are, right? So I'm going to end it here, a uh, very brief drive, but I 
sell and focus on the journey home. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you are new to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. All different types of car content. New video every Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock. Um, so definitely hit subscribe with the bell icon to get notified as well. And uh, give me a follow on Instagram at Calvin's Car Diary. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, man. It's well deserved. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, yeah, it keeps the momentum going with the whole YouTube algorithm. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader. Since arriving home in the RS3, I've decided exactly what I want to do with it. Find out what my plans are in my next video, which is going to be live on Wednesday at 6 o'clock.